Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. This is April 28th, 2022. Topics on the agenda, news, June LTS base select, baseline selection, and crowd in enterprise were the topics I had. Any other topics that we want to put on the list? I, as a forewarning, I have a hard stop at half past the hour because I've got um, the uh, She Code Africa contribute on that I need to assist with. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's take these topics then. So, Bruno, know that you're here. All right. So, by way of news, um, ongoing prep for the June LTS baseline. And thanks to Alex, 2.332.3 release candidate build is available for testing, uh, needs a uh, change log and upgrade guide. And I'll review that, I hope, with the Asia team, with the Asia office hours later today. It's a pretty simple change log, if I remember correctly. No, later today is the wrong phrasing. During next office hours. Any questions or comments there? Okay, next topic then, June LTS baseline selection. So Alex and I have been pushing, or I started the push and Alex has agreed with that we wanted to delay the baseline selection while we stabilize. and resolve some regressions. I haven't seen a reply from Tim on the uh, discussion is on the mailing list. There's There are one or two, or maybe it's two or three issue open issues that are worrisome to me. One of them is a regression that uh, Basil Crow has proposed a revert of the commit that introduced the regression. And then there are some existing UI regressions, uh, two to three existing UI regressions that worry me. Alex, anything you wanted to offer there? Uh, nothing specific anymore. I mean, at the current time, we are tracking lots of UX regressions on the UX regression dashboard on Jira. And I think Many of them are actually from much, much older releases, like from 2020 or 2021, if I saw that correctly. So not necessarily every UX regression listed there has to be addressed before the next candidate is selected. Exactly. I agree with that. We, we should not have the, the, the flawed expectation. I can bring up that JIRA so that we can see it. We should not have the flawed expectation, for me at least, that all UX regressions must be fixed, not even close. It's this, this set shows, hey, there are 16, but of those 16, many of them were not reported until, well, let's see, roughly half are in, in the reported in 2021 or earlier. So, and yeah, so it's at least one third are, are very old and I don't, I don't see a compelling reason that we must fix those. I agree. It just, for me, there are a, a few here. Uh, this one, for instance, the credentials pop up. This is the one that Basel's got the change in review to revert it. And this one I would like, but I could even see if we had to ship without it, I'd be okay. The one that was my most worrisome was this one just because I've had, had people request it from multiple fronts. Great. Any, anything else there, Alex? Okay, the next topic, Crowdin Enterprise. So proud to highlight this, watch this. Crowdin.jenkins.io is our new site. And so Alex, we've got about 25 minutes 
what shall we do today? What do you recommend as our next thing? Yeah, I Ooh. think. Yeah, I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we've got a French speaker on the line, a German speaker on the line, both native language and a bad a bad speaker of Italian. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, actually, if you are here and you have tried cardin so far, is there anything you have run into that could possibly cause issues or something? I haven't seen anything that went against what I wanted to do. So it's not really easy at first, but once you've done uh, one translation, then it's okay. Yeah, the same process for one translation applies to every translation. Yeah, yeah. I think once you to... once you get used to it, you know the flow. Yeah, yeah, I'll be better at translating. Okay, that's not a real contribution. That we are just a few <laughs> tries of mine. Okay, so but I how do, do now? How do I see? Okay, how do I see the the proposal? So as far as I can tell, Bruno, you have submitted a translation for a French, at least one French language message. Is that right? Uh, in fact, for three uh, messages in French uh, in two different files. Okay, so if I click here, I should see, ah, here it is. This is your proposed French translation. Yes, it is. Okay, and, and so... Uh, apparently people can vote for the different translations proposed. Yeah, you can click on the plus or minus sign, whether you agree with it or not. Oh, oh, so I could click here as a plus and say, I That's agree correct. with. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Now that was an ignorant vote. So I, I, I <laughs> but, but that's great. I'm happy to vote ignorantly. Okay. So now okay. this was submitted a day ago, which means it still needs proofreading by someone, Alex, before it could be accepted as a pull request. Is that right? Yes, that's the current workflow we are using here. Once someone accepts it and there are no other untranslated strings in the file left, it will end up as pull request on GitHub. Okay. And are you by how okay. can yeah, sorry. How can we group uh, a set of files before making a pull request? Because the people who will be responsible for verifying that uh, will get mad if we submit 10 per day or so what's the process? What is the workflow? Yeah, um, currently we have set it up that only fully translated and approved files end up as pull requests on GitHub. But you don't have to select the files you want as pull request. Crawlin automatically submits fully translated files. We are using oh. an integration with GitHub Actions here, running cron based every 12 hours. So if you approve strings on a regular basis within the next 12 hours, this would end up as pull request on GitHub. So we should get someone else on board uh, for each language translated because I it makes no sense that I approve my own translations. Exactly, and and so so we do need someone else who's assigned now for purposes of this exercise. I bet Alex, you're already a proofreader for for design library, aren't you? Yes. So we could have Alex approve it, and within twelve hours a pull request will be submitted based on your, well, or I think these, are these files completely translated? I, that was a piece I didn't. No, no, just one. Index, complete. index of properties is fully translated. I see both green ticks on the left. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So this tells me done. So this yes. one. Okay. Well, so, so Alex, are you willing to do an approval of those, those two translations so we could watch that flow? Yeah, for sure. Ooh. I mean, I can switch to proofreading, and I suspect I have permission also. Yeah, we are both currently managers on this instance, so we can basically approve anything anywhere, but that doesn't reflect the actual behavior here. Okay. So, so what's your preference? I, I mean, I can certainly say I approve these. They, they look great to me, even as a non-native French speaker. The application bar. The, those words look reasonable. Yeah, the, those words look reasonable, but there is one concern. You see the code brackets and the L colon main dash panel. Oh, it has been translated also. Oh, yes. oh right. Oh, very good catch. Okay. These actually 
don't need to don't or actually shouldn't be translated because these are jelly tags and the translated part basically doesn't exist in the code base right well so right. so what this highlights is okay so how would we flag this as oh i want to say that i can i can approve this one because that makes sense but this other one i absolutely should not approve because because it's it's got an interesting problem how do is there a way i can can describe that can say here hey take another look at this bruno yes uh, me... it's a good idea to make it work. <laughs> Yeah, let's switch back from proofreading to crowdsourcing first. Okay. And if you select the string on the right, you should see no comments at the moment. Select the string on, okay. So if I- On the right hand, you have the no comments bar. At okay. the bottom of this bar, it says new comment. Oh, new okay. So I can just put a comment here. Okay, good. You could so basically if... highlight and say, hey, the stuff in the code brackets shouldn't be translated because it actually reflects right. the code. This, so must not translate, needs to, needs to remain, to remain as, because it is code. It is a code fragment, right? Yeah. And if you just submit it, it appears as comment on the right hand. And if I, oh, okay, so I don't, so I just, okay, right there. Good, all right. So I can then, see it, yeah, cool. Yeah. And now okay. the translator could basically go ahead and reply to it and address the issue in the same row. <laughs> okay, so Bruno, okay, excellent, so Bruno, you could you can you go ahead and make that change and then you're saying alex i'll be able to see the change that he has made yeah i'm currently in the process of writing uh jenkins io block article or however you want to call that mm -hmm. how to integrate crowd in with github actions just as a little recap we could likely publish after the online meetup so people have something in text form mm, because good. that's most most mostly like most likely something I prefer. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely something I should include, I guess, to not have, to not end up with actually translated code. Okay, so, so Bruno has offered this change. I see it up here. Now, okay, I'm, I'm not sure, Alex, I'm understanding what the save button is. Yeah, if you, if you save, you just override what you have at the moment here. But he's already got it correct up. Of, oh, no, wait a no, second. No, that, that is the source string. Ah, right. Okay. Uh -huh. There is a, a version I corrected just below. Uh, yes. No, no, no. Um, up, yep. Uh, this, See, it's one. This, this one, right, is. Mm -hmm. And so if I say plus to that one and. And minus to that one. Yeah. Oops. Now you can even. Remove you it. You can maybe. actually just delete it. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. Right. Okay. That one I know we don't want. Yeah. So, now we just hit the save button and we are ready to go. Okay. So, so, okay. Now I don't understand what's different between the two below. Oh, I mean, okay. panel this panel one's wrong. Panel. So this one's wrong. This one's right. Okay. And what I see here is right. So I can press the save button. Vote for the existing trans. Okay, so vote for the existing translation. Okay, and so now I should see page title has been approved, and here this is Bruno's proposal to provide a translation in French. I'm not so sure it's mine. Uh, it looks like it's yours. Oh, so I made a mistake somehow. Okay, so know. all right, so that's. That's bad. What did I do wrong? So I clear this and I want to take Bruno. Yeah, I just I just gave it another plus one. Basically, if we head back from crowdsourcing to proofreading, it does now show the corrected string. Ah, okay. So it's taken away the mess I was making. Okay, very good. Yeah, somewhat off. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're much too delicate. Somewhat is, is okay. So here it is. 
in proofreading and we see Bruno's changes and he's corrected the, the one thing that was flagged. The one there. Yeah, currently spell check fails because French doesn't know Jelly. So yeah. <laughs> and, but it's like basically something you can ignore here. And that, that makes sense. French can't possibly be taught Jelly. So, okay. <laughs> so I say approve the selected strings. Yeah, and now this file is complete and within the next 12 hours, or if we trigger the workflow by hand, it does appear as pull request on GitHub. And, and you could probably trigger the workflow by hand. Oh no, I can also trigger the workflow by hand because it's initiated from, from CrowdIn or is it initiated from the GitHub side? It's, it's initiated from the GitHub side. So you'd have to do it because I'm not a maintainer of the design library plugin. Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind, I would go ahead and a screen share what the yep. process here would yes, be. Yes, that would be great. Let's do that. So I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, that was the design library plugin, yeah? Yes. Okay, then let me take a look real quick. Uh, I think it is this one. Uh, just one second. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do screen sharing at the moment because I'm in a new system at the moment. Yeah. Didn't That's... give Mac OS permission to do that at the moment. So oh, right. You'd have to exit in order to be able to screen share. No problem. Yeah. Actually, Let's... the the workflow the workflow would be you head to the GitHub repository, click on the actions tab. Select the action and just trigger it. Well, and, and I can actually show that for, for purposes of our illustration here. I can show it with one of the other. We have, is it the schedule build plugin is the one that we have in? Yes. Yeah. So how about if let you go ahead and trigger it. I'm going to take screen sharing back and I'm going to share my screen and do the same thing, but on a different plugin. That way we've got a, a, a one more reminder of it. Okay. So... Yeah. This is the schedule build plugin. And so in order to trigger the crowd in translate action, I go to actions, crowd in action. Yeah, and run we just run the workflow. Master, and there it is. And now okay, there so won't be any. Okay. Sorry, sorry. No, no, go ahead. What was your question, Bruno? Uh, my question was, how do you add a crowd in action within an existing repository? And for that, we go to code.github slash workflows, crowdin.yml. And here is the, 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 the thing that, that needs to be added. And it's boilerplate. This, it is the same for each repository. If I remember correctly, okay. there wasn't anything we had to do. The one thing that makes it specific to a repository is we had to add a secret to this repository for this thing or okay, yeah it was crowd in personal token so, so and we've got a recording of how to do that in a previous office hours okay i'll have a look at it and um, is it a template which is already existing within uh, github or do you have to create it from scratch or copy paste from another repo or something at the in, moment in there's no template yet but i'm heading forward to propose a template to jkncis slash dot github so you can install it from the one click workflow installer. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so this one, and and what you said was we would it would go into .github slash workflows. And today I can choose release drafter or I don't know what tech TOC generate. Oh yeah. So so release drafter is the one that I think is interesting. Now I'm a little surprised, Alex, that I don't see anything here for the security scan. It must be done at some other level. Okay, so yes, it can be done, and but copy and paste worked for me. Okay. So now, Alex, back to you probably just submitted that design library plugin job. Has it already completed processing? Do we see the pull request? There yeah, we the do. pull request is up. It's currently building. So there is your pull request. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Why? Is that, is that a safe change? So Alex, do you see the, the code? They, it looks like they escaped the colon. The colon. Oh yeah, it's a, the slash is actually not supposed to be there, right? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually an interesting change. I think Other. it should be just L colon main dash panel. Right, so I'm gonna put a comment there. So the jelly code looks like it was incorrectly escaped. in the pull request should be L colon main dash panel, right? Yeah, that's actually what it says in the source string as well. Rather than Good, good thing to have learned. Now, is there a setting that we could use or that would cause it not to escape that? I'm not sure why yeah, it chose or, to escape it. Yeah, if there are some settings I can change on my side or... Yeah, I don't think that is something the actual translator can change. I guess that is most okay. likely something the way how Crowdon processes the file. I didn't, I didn't, the, I didn't, run into the issue myself yet, but it's likely something we can find out. Right, we'll need to, we'll need to learn more about it. Good to have found it now before the meetup, great. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, so we've got a pull request, it's being built. And now as a maintainer, maintainers could actually do a correction. If you were to do a correction to this inside the pull request, we'll crowd in allow that to continue forward it's not going to block that i assume is that possible that a maintainer could correct this and still keep it or is it that it will have to go back to to the original submitters they need to oh, find some way to fix this thing yeah i mean our current integration doesn't submit approved strings back to crowd and so correcting here would basically work okay but the preferred approach would likely be to figure out why does that and set up a way to stop doing that because that is basically nonsense here because jelly doesn't work like that right okay so uh, did crowding create a branch on which uh, we could um, change some things or not at all it did yeah. this l10 okay. crowd in action branch is there and so we could modify it now. To, okay, now but you, Anderson you, just does the correct way to do, but go back well, directly no, and find of, the root cause into crowding. You see, neither you nor I have permission to modify that branch. So yep. it it's but Alex, as a maintainer of this plugin, has permission to make to, to probably has permission to modify that branch. Yeah, okay, I can you do know that. what? I should I should I, I've I've got an even better idea. Okay, watch this. Oh no, I can't submit a, a suggestion. See, I was gonna just submit a suggestion. Uh -huh. and, and then Alex let you accept the suggestion and see if it would allow you to accept the suggestion. So yes, you would have to make a fork and then a pull request. Uh -uh. And... No, it's, here we go. This is, this is, I suggest oh, you can do it. the following change. Ooh. Alex, would you be willing to, to See if you can approve my suggestion just for purposes of experiment. Wow. Yeah, for sure. Can, can just merge it right away. Because I, my comment wasn't nearly as useful as just saying, here's the simple change we need to make. And corrected. Excellent. Okay, so, so now what we see is two commits from the bot and then Alex's correction. Yeah. I will take a look and try to figure out why it does that until the next Docs Office session. Guess likely something that we didn't think about yet or right. something we have badly configured and has enabled as default setting. I don't know because that is the actual only occasion that 
it happened here. I'm not mm -hmm. aware of it being somewhere else yet. Or at least I didn't notice it in a pull request. Yeah, and, and I this is the first time I've ever seen anything like that. So so yeah, thank you for being willing to investigate it. Thanks very much. All right, so another, so a French translation of one file has been added to design library. Pull request submitted. Bruno, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. I love All right. making mistakes. <laughs> Anything else, Alex, before we end? I have to, I apologize that yeah, I have to be sure I end on time. I've got to be sure I'm in my next session. Oh, that's fine, I guess. I've just approved the pull request, enabled auto merging. So within the next 12 hours, this ends up as release in design library. Oh, and, ho oh, and hopefully, and hopefully soon on weekly.ci. Wow. Amazing. So, and, and that's a great story because continuous delivery is enabled here. And localization changes are, are viewed as significant enough to generate a release. And I've seen that just this morning. I merged a, a change to schedule build plugin for a translated string, and it gave me a new release. Yeah. Currently, wow. we are using the enhancement label for it. But I proposed a pull request to the .github repository and to the workflow actions to create a new localization label for it using the globe emoji or something. So we can have a dedicated label to separate non-code changes from often code changes that are used for enhancements. And I think, I think that will make it even better because then there will be a section in the change log that says localization. Yeah, currently does already on the core, repos core repository. Oh, Oh, so that's already happening there. Yeah, I think Tim just met my PR a couple of days ago. And the next draft contains the localization and translation bullet point. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. Thanks, Bruno. I'll go ahead and end our session for today. We'll talk again next. Oh, Alex is going to do an online meetup next Thursday. Next, no, Thursday the 12th, two weeks from today. And I'll get it proposed. And we're, we're going to do this same kind of thing, but we'll show it to a much larger group. Bruno, we may ask you to be there as part of the demonstration to do French. Yes, I can make mistakes online. That's my pleasure. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Thanks, everybody. See you, folks. <laughs>